morning. It's Thursday, May 7th. And this morning we're going to talk a little bit about Trump's lethal four-step plan to reopen the U.S. economy. He's getting very nervous. Polls are showing him losing in November unless the economy comes roaring back. But the economy is in trouble because of the pandemic. Many parts of the, of the economy remain closed, and the number of infections and deaths continue to climb. So now I'll give you a little rundown on the strategy to reopen the economy. Now, the first step in Trump's plan is to remove income support. Trump's Labor Department has decided that furloughed employees must accept an employer's offer to return to work or forfeit unemployment benefits, regardless of COVID-19. So one of Trump's allies, the idiot governor of Iowa, says employees cannot refuse to return to work for fear of contracting the disease. That's a voluntary quit, making someone ineligible for benefits. Is that ridiculous or not? They want people who are afraid, and afraid for a reason. No, they want people who are afraid and afraid for a reason to go back to work. That's insane. And the next step in the plan is to hide all the facts. There's 6.5 million tests have been completed in a population of more than 200 million adults. And it's impossible to fight the virus without adequate data. And Dr. Fauci said, Reopening is a big risk. So if you don't know how many people, American people, are really infected, then you're taking a big risk. Unless you can figure out a way to get these facts straight, why should anybody go to work? We know many people are desperate, and they really have to feed their wives and children and themselves. And they need this money, but you're taking advantage of the disadvantaged people. That's unconscionable. The third thing is about freedom. We know about the freedom episode. Uh, Weeks ago, called upon citizens in Michigan to liberate Michigan. Who's, of course, the governor of Michigan is Democratic. Gretchen Whitmer imposed strict stay-at-home rules, and Michigan has the third largest amount of COVID-19 deaths in the country. But still, Trump encouraged these armed marauders to liberate the people of Michigan. Why do people need to go there with assault rifles dressed in camouflage uniforms with their face covered to fight against the pandemic that you can't kill with a rifle. They look like assholes standing out in front of a concentration camp. And then, of course, we have the Attorney General William Barr, who's directed the Justice Department to take legal action against any state or local authorities imposing lockdown measures that could be violating the constitutional rights and civil liberties of individual citizens. So trying to keep people safe has now become an issue of violating individual rights. So we let the lunatics run around who have the disease and infect everybody because we're we're going to curtail their human rights or their liberal rights or whatever the hell they want to call it, individual rights. It's absurd to make this issue about freedom. Freedom's meaningless for people who have no choice but to accept the job that risks their health. Is that what we want to do? send people to die? I don't think so. 
So on top of everything else, they want to shield businesses against lawsuits for spreading the infection. They want to give businesses that reopen a liability shield against legal action by workers and customers who might get infected by the virus. So we're going to let business open. They're not going to protect their people. They're not going to protect their customers. And they won't be allowed to be sued. Now, I think we are a very litigious society, and we sue almost everything. But you can't take that right away from people when you have people out there that would try to shortcut their way through the, this terrible situation, right? And, of course, the evil Mitch McConnell insists that proposed legislation giving state and local governments funding they desperately need must include legal immunity for corporations that cause workers or consumers to become infected. We have a red line on the liability, McConnell said. I, it won't pass the Senate without it. We have a red line on liability. So here's the bottom line. Trump is trying to force the economy to reopen in order to boost his electoral chances this November. And he's selling out Americans' health to seal the deal. That's beyond contemptible. He's betting that any resurgence will occur after the election when the economy appears to be on the road to recovery. He's done enough damage already. He was slow to, to respond to the threat, and he keeps lying about it. And he made it hard for the states, especially with those with Democratic governors, you know, the whole thing about the blue states. The blue states want help. The red states get all the help they need, but the blue states want help. It's a crock of shit. Anyhow, it's time for me to quit. I'm exhausted from this rant. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.